1 Thessalonians 5.11 tells us, Encourage one another and build each other up. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Elisa Morgan. Elisa writes, I piled groceries in my car and carefully exited my parking spot. Suddenly, a man darted across the pavement just in front of me, not noticing my approach. I slammed on my brakes, just missing him. Startled, he looked up and met my gaze. In that moment, I knew I had a choice. Respond with rolled-eyed frustration or offer a smiling forgiveness. I smiled. Relief flickered across his face, raising the edges of his own lips in gratefulness. Proverbs 15.13 says, A happy heart makes the face cheerful, but heartache crushes the spirit. Is the writer directing us to cheery grins in the face of every interruption, disappointment, and inconvenience life brings? Surely not. There are times for genuine mourning, despair, and even anger at injustice. But in our everyday moments, a smile can offer relief, hope, and the grace needed to continue. Perhaps the point of the proverb is that a smile naturally results from the condition of our inner beings. A happy heart is at peace, content, and yielded to God's best. With such a heart, happy from the inside out, we can respond to surprising circumstances with a genuine smile, inviting others to embrace the hope and peace they too can experience with God. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Proverbs chapter 15, verses 13 through 15. A happy heart makes the face cheerful, but heartache crushes the spirit. The discerning heart seeks knowledge, but the mouth of a fool feeds on folly. All the days of the oppressed are wretched, but the cheerful heart has a continual feast. That's today's scripture reading from Proverbs chapter 15, verses 13 through 15. And now let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, today as we cross paths with others around us, make our hearts happy that we may share with them the hope only you can offer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries. 